Flirting cues that are often misread. Hi guys, my name is Apollonia Ponti. I'm a dating relationship and life coach for you men, not only to master your attraction skills, but also to master your life overall. And in this video, I'm going to talk about flirting. It is sometimes a tricky topic, or maybe you are wanting to get better at flirting, or maybe you are great at flirting, but notice that something happened with a woman that you like, and that's what brought you to this video. If this is your first time watching this video, I introduce you to just subscribe so you can get more content like this and also to share it with your friends as well so they can get some more content as well and get these better tricks up their sleeves so they don't misread the flirting cues that I'm gonna talk about today. So let's start right now. So number one, she is just talking to you at work or school and you, she approached you. A lot of times we think that just because she is talking to you at work or she's talking to you at school and she approached you with this dynamic or behavior that she's automatically trying to flirt, right? What I always say, men, is understand that when a woman is talking to you, sometimes we have to really figure out if she's just being nice or if she's flirting as well, right? So flirting typically happens over time and there's going to be things that she's going to separate. Things that she will separate is really asking about your dating life, are you dating anybody, more personal things that um, you'll have to look at. Number two is you look at things that I've actually seen is that men think that the hair flip, just because a woman plays with her hair in front of a man or is doing this hair flip thing, this is not just flirting because I play with my hair all the time. So we want to also look for stack signals. Sometimes um, men will say, well, she looked like she was nervous around me and she also looked like, you know, she liked me. Okay. So what did she say that made you s seem like she liked you? What did she do in her behaviors? Well, she flipped her hair and she was biting her fingernails or she was kind of nervous talking to me. Well, that's great and all, but what were the conversations like? You want to look at to details. If a woman is flirting with you, you want to look at her details. So not only are you going to look at her body language, you're going to look in her behaviors. You're going to look at what is she talking about? Is she coming closer to you? Is she asking you about your personal romantic life? Um, is she insinuating things? Is she teasing you? Is she open to bantering with you? And so on. Number three is she's an attention seeker. So there's another opposite of this is there's plenty of women out there. And these are the ones you want to probably stay far away from are the ones that, um, are just seeking your attention. So they are obviously being super nice and flirtatious with you. And sometimes this is also a form of gaslighting in the beginning of a relationship. And typically this is a form of love bombing when a woman is meeting you in the beginning of the relationship is just giving you so much. You want to be really careful because there is some women out there that do seek attention for sure they're out there and you want to be able to make sure that you don't attract these type of women. And so if a woman's coming on hot and heavy really early on, it might be very tempting. It might seem really cool, especially if you haven't had it for a while, but you want to be careful. And this is why I'm a true believer in really putting yourself out there. Um, and not just waiting for a woman to come to you, because if you wait for a woman to come to you and you get an intention sinker woman that is going to love bomb you in the very beginning, you're going to settle for a toxic relationship. And I've seen this happen. Number four is she asks you questions in a friendly way because she's honestly is just trying to get to know you, or maybe this is a business convention and a conversation, environmental things you really want to pay attention to guys. So I remember I was at a networking events once with a, um, for a business, I think it was a business networking convention. And I remember a guy approaching me and actually think, I think I was talking to him and I started seeing that his business was really intriguing. I wanted to know a little bit about his marketing strategies and so much more. And he ended up asking me on a date and I was so, I was, I was kind of taken back by that. And as a woman, it just didn't make me feel safe to have engaging conversations with men. It made me feel safer just to have them with women because I didn't want to be hit on. And so here's where he didn't read is all of my conversations were just based on his business. And I was complimenting not him as a person, but his success in his business. And I think he started to think that, I mean, take his personal, the personal relationship with, um, his life and his business intertwined with the business. And I wasn't trying to get him on a per on, get to know him on a personal level. I was just trying to get to know him in the business and what we did and be friends with him and probably brainstorm some things or ways we can go about business ventures together and kind of, um, you know, 
look for, you know, opportunities where we can help one another. But he misread my signals. And then after that, I just didn't really want to talk to him because it was awkward and weird. And also too, for me as a woman, I didn't want to be around a man that could be business savvy, but also not be able to have EQ enough to know when to separate the personal relationship and the business relationship. Right. And so here's the thing in that conversation, I asked him nothing about his personal life. Maybe I just asked him where he lives and maybe if he has kids or, you know, a family or, you know, what his hobbies are like. But other than that, it was strictly business. 90% of the conversation was all business. When a woman is flirting with you in an environmental thing, let's say a business convention, it starts to take out of the business convention and about, I would say 60 to 80% will start to be more personal than just business. If she's trying to get to know you on a better, in a better way. And so and vice versa should be for you as well in a better way of meaning a relationship dating type of way of interest. <laughs> Number five is just because a woman talks to you does not always mean she is interested in you guys. All right. So I know that this might be a little bit shocking to hear to some, but you know, Here's where I will say as a woman, what happens as a woman is when many times when I get approached and when I used to like be when I was single and, um, I always thought like, oh my goodness, I'm going two things. How long is this guy going to be around me? And two, is he really going to misread all of my signals if I don't like him? Right. And so what's important, and I have another video about this is like, if a woman is giving you one word answers, if a woman is not trying to converse with you anymore, many people are like telling men to continue to do it and stay there and push through it. And I don't really agree with that because it actually makes us uncomfortable. And so what happens is when the next guy tries to approach us, we already have that feeling of uncomfortable, um, being uncomfortable with that guy that never got the cue in the memo that sometimes it's harder for the next guys going on. So what I'm saying is make it easier for yourself. You want to continue and not give up and get better with talking to women and approaching them or flirting with them, whatever the case may be, but you don't want to stick around and actually violate her own physical, uh, per, excuse me, personal space and maybe even, um, conversational boundaries. And because if a woman doesn't want to speak with us or you, for example, it is okay, right? All of us get rejected and you're more in alignment and more empowered because you were the one that was speaking to her in the first place. So the more that you put yourself out there, the more that you're going to be in better alignment too. So in regards to really misreading these things and mishaps that I see that men think that, oh, she wants my attention. Oh, she wants to get to know me. Oh, she wants to flirt. The biggest overall is understanding when and when, when to hold them and when to fold them basically. And so you want to hold them in the beginning, especially when you aren't sure you want to kind of just continue on with the conversation. Remember the most important thing is she will personalize the conversations a little bit more and overly compliment you, not just compliment you on your business and how successful you are. If you made her at a business converse, a convention, instead, she's going to say like, you know, it seems like you're a really good crutch. Why don't you have a girlfriend? Right? Oh, you must be dating all these girls out there, or you might not want to settle down. And then she probably goes into more of dating and, and really taking personalized interest in who you are as a man. That's what you want to look out for. Not just the hair flipping, not just the getting shy, not just the biting the nails, none of this guys, you want to make sure you personalize your experience with a woman and be present. The more present you are, the more you're going to be able to tune in. If a woman is just being nice and you can be friends with her because maybe she's a cool friend and you can meet friends through her and girls that you might like through her friendships or actually a girl that you can consider going on a date with. That's the cue guys. If you want to get better at flirting and if you want to take things to the next level, I would encourage you to click the link below and sign up for my how to flirt training program. So you can see a little bit more of this video that I have on that screen. I mean, on that link, excuse me, that's nowhere else. If you like this video, I would encourage you to remember to like it and subscribe and comment below one of the maybe flirting mishaps that happened to you so you can help other men in this community. And as always, I want you to watch this next video if you'd like to continue watching my programs here and I'll see you in the next video. Remember you are always loved. Bye for now.